If you've gone shopping for things like hand sanitizer lately, you probably realize it's hard to come by right now. A lot of stores are out of stock and websites are hiking up the prices on what is available. So what can you do? Fox 12's Kelsey Watts has one option. We're going to show you one recipe for how you can make your own hand sanitizer. There are a lot of recipes out there on the internet. The one we're about to show you only takes a couple of ingredients. If you've tried to hit the store to load up on hand sanitizer, this is probably what you've run into. A lot of empty shelves. But open up your medicine cabinet and you may have just what you need to make your own. This recipe calls for rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol and aloe vera. You can also add in an essential oil to freshen up the fragrance. Mix two thirds of a cup of alcohol with one third of a cup of aloe vera. Then eight to 10 drops of your oil. We chose lemon. Stir it all up and you're done. It will cost you between 12 and 20 bucks, depending on whether you use the oil. If you have hand sanitizer at home already, check the alcohol percentage. The CDC recommends at least 60%, but 70 or better will kill even more germs. Still, use whatever you have. It may not kill the coronavirus, but it will wipe out cold and flu germs that can weaken your immune system and make you more vulnerable to COVID-19. Keep on using it if you're using it. Common sense, you're decreasing germs getting around and your immune system is going to be uh, better for it. We spoke with Cheryl Kohler, a nurse and infection control professional. She recommends the website whatkillsit.com for more specifics and says common sense is the best protection right now. Live your life, just be careful. You know, uh, if somebody's coughing and sneezing, walk away. Um, but right now, there's no reason to panic, but just be careful. And remember, hand sanitizer is helpful. <laughs> But good old-fashioned hand washing is always your best protection. Use enough soap to get a good lather and sing a song like Happy Birthday, maybe even twice through, to make sure you're getting the job done. One note when you're buying ingredients, those two recipes you just saw, one involves the 100% aloe vera, and this one obviously is more of that aloe vera gel that you use after a sunburn. This one separates a little, so just keep that in mind, and this one has more of the consistency like water. We'll have these recipes for you on our website at kptv.com. Kelsey Watts, Fox 12 Oregon.